Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Gemini. So if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Gemini, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, when it is fluid, rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. of pentacles page of wands five of cups hmm. what on the deck is empress and the high priestess and the seven of pentacles you could be dealing with taurus libra or pisces this is the divine feminine energy and this is your energy here this is someone who wants to talk to you. Page of Wands and the High Priestess here. This is someone who wants to talk to you. They want to repair things here. But this person feels like they, it cannot be done. It's almost like uh, the pessimism is setting in for this person that it cannot be done. They are being very, very patient here. So almost like this person is uh, waiting for you to... change your energy to change they're waiting for your energy to change here there's something very intimidating about you right now especially to this person and you very well could be dealing with someone who is a bit a bit of an immature person here which is why this person is very intimidated to come towards you make any move towards you and they're finding it difficult to approach you you know, uh, four of pentacles is someone who's holding back on purpose. This is someone who's being a bit of a stubborn energy as well here. But this person is holding back on uh, on purpose because they, they feel like they can't access your energy right now. They can't approach you. They can't come towards you. They are finding it very difficult to see the positive here. This is someone who is feeling hopeless, not to mention this is someone who is also feeling the sort of this uh, lazy sort of energy about this person. You know, someone who is oh, who has almost given up. This is someone who has almost given up. They just keep thinking about the past over and over again. Five of Cups and Seven of Pentacles is someone who keeps thinking about the past over and over again. They can't see anything long term here. Neither can this person see anything positive. This is someone who's just doing the same thing, thinking about the same things over and over again. Page of Wands, the High Priestess, the Empress, that is a mismatch of energy. So this person feels like even though they want to come towards you, even if they come towards you, it's not going to work out. It's not going to be, you know, it's like this is someone who's very disappointed, who has given up, who's someone, someone who's just sit, sitting and contemplates about approaching you. But then they just give it mid uh, halfway, like within a few minutes, this person gives up on that idea because they are like, no, uh, that's not possible. I don't, I don't have it in myself to approach Gemini right now. I can't do it. 
So why am I even thinking about it? This is callous energy about this person. Very lazy and callous energy about this person here. This is like someone who has been gloomy. Someone who's, who is gloomy for the longest time. Like this person has been gloomy for a while here. Or this is someone who is a bit of a gloomy kind of a person here. Like they think negatively. Like this is someone who has a pessimistic outlook. They generally think in very like in a very negative uh, way. So this person is like someone who is very down in the doldrums. Like they are generally down in the doldrums. And right now this person is more so in that energy. So even if they feel inspired occasionally to talk to you, to contact you, to have a conversation with you, they just give it midway. Give it up midway. Because this person feels like they don't have any assurance. If they approach you, they don't have any assurance. Things are so weird right now. Like this person thinks that things are so weird between the both of you. Or things got so weird between the both of you. And everything is such a mystery right now. It's almost like this person feels like they don't have anything on you. They don't know anything about you. They don't know have anything on you. They don't have any sort of information regarding you as well here. And that is the main reason why this person doesn't feel that confident enough to approach you. Also, they feel like they feel very small in front of you, like almost like insignificant here. Page of Cups. So we have the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. Look at that High Priestess in between. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. The world. Could be dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. They see you as someone who is like very, very stubborn right now. They feel like you are being very stubborn. There's rigidity when it comes to, it's not even stubbornness, it's rigidity when it comes to you. You're not flexible, you're not, you're not very welcoming, you're not very flexible, you're not very, um, th there's no softness in your energy here. Whatever nurturing energy you had, this person feels like th they are not in that soft nurturing energy anymore. It's much more harsher and rigid here. This is also someone who uh, thinks and f sees you as like you are looking for the truth from this person. You are looking for the truth from this person. You, you're not going to uh, listen to or pay attention to someone or like to this person. You are not going to pay attention to anyone who is, who is just trying to waste your time. Who is not speaking the truth. Who is trying to BS you. Not to mention we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant. The Hierophant is um, the High Priest. This is the High Priest and the High Priestess. This is the counterpart energy here. This mirroring of energy. Yeah, bottom of the deck is nine of wands, six of swords, knight of wands. We have two pages, page of wands, page of cups and the knight of wands here. The 
this person is very uh, aware that uh, they have wounded you they, they have hurt you they have wounded you and this person thinks that is the reason why you are behaving in such a rigid manner like you are very not flexible right now you're not flexible at all and this is funny because you are a uh, mutable air but this person sees you as like this very fix, fixed odd sort of an energy because hierophant is taurus empress taurus energy again so they see you as someone who's very fixed and like stubborn here very rigid here there's no flexibility when it comes to you you already see you as someone who is like uh, you anyways don't trust them you anyways are defensive towards them for some of you you could have blocked them but they see you as some, like you are anyways very defensive towards them. You're like, you're very closed off towards them. It's nine of Wands, Six of Swords, there's a lot of defensiveness here. It's almost like this person feels like they can't approach you with a light-hearted energy anymore. Like things are way too serious here. They can't approach you with a light-hearted energy. They can't approach you and flirt you. So it's very possible between the both of you, you used to flirt a lot. There was this very childlike energies between the both of you where there was a lot of bantering and flirting and all of those things happened in the past. But this person feels like they can't approach you with that same energy again. And that is why this person is so confused because they feel like they don't know what sort of an energy you are in right now and how you can be approached because again uh, this person feels like they don't have any sort of information on you so even if this person is talking you they are really not finding much information about you which is why this person is like in that energy of they don't know if they should be approaching you definitely see you as someone who's moving on here like they think you whenever they think about you they feel like you are moving on it's almost like whenever they this person sits and thinks about you they can feel you moving on they can feel you leaving them behind they can feel that energy very well here like intuitively this person can pick up on that energy but this person doesn't have that confidence to approach you because they feel they don't know anything about you they don't know who you are. You're definitely not the same person you used to be. And they don't know this new you. And this person feels like their old ways of talking, their old tricks and flirting and everything. Um, it's, it's not really working. It's not really going to work anymore. This is someone who knows they have to approach you in a new way. There has to be a new approach here. But they don't know how to go about it. It's almost like this person feels like they don't have the heart. Uh, sorry. I noticed this uh, at the bottom of the deck, heart with a key here. This person thinks that they don't have the key to your heart anymore. They have lost that key. They don't have that key to your heart because you're making healthy choices here. You might have completely shifted timelines with this person here. Now, I, I'm not saying this person understands shifting timelines or they understand or see it this way, but this is what that might have truly happened here because of because of which this person feels like they can't access your energy anymore. This is someone who really feels like you are on a different uh, chapter, different book altogether. You are very unreadable to this person anymore. 
like with the high priestess and the empress here this person literally like this is a, this feels like a switch of energy uh you were very the empress is a very nurturing caring loving very kind-hearted energy but the high priestess is none of that the high priestess isn't very kind uh nurturing caring uh she is the divine feminine energy but it's a very different side of the divine feminine energy they this person was used to this empress side of the divine feminine they are not used to the high priestess side and th this is what this person is seeing the high priestess side right now and this is throwing them off balance because the high priestess can be very intimidating her silence is very intimidating here because the high priestess doesn't say anything she just knows and she does that's it There's so much calmness about you. It's again that this person is used to that Gemini energy of you. Someone, you could have chased this person. You could have flirted with this person a lot. You could have sh been over enthusiastic about this connection, showed them a lot of interest. And you are in this very like, again, very Gemini kind of energy, very playful, childlike energy. That's how this person has seen you. But now they see you as someone who's very calm and rigid and they don't understand. Like you are, you have become the stone sort of a thing for this person here. Like your heart is come open your heart open your heart here. This person feels like your heart is completely closed and they don't have the key to it. Below that we have the golden mirror here. It says self-absorbed, one-sided relationship, love bombing. It also says narcissist. But yeah, not everyone is dealing with a narcissist here. Um, but yeah, this was a very codependent connection. And then we have addiction. Again, codependent connection here. Like this person literally saw you as someone who was who was addicted to them. You were addicted to them. You were chained to them. Somehow this person, the vibe you gave off to this person, like your heart was chained to them. You were addicted to them. You were, you were obsessed with them. There was this obsessive energy you had with this person. You both could have been obsessed with each other, very possessive and obsessive and codependency and a lot of those negative energies in this connection here. But this person saw you as someone who was completely obsessed with them. You were very possessive about them. You were very controlling about this connection. You were very obsessed with them. And suddenly you have relinquished all control and moved back here. As I just said, very obsessed with each other, codependent connection. This is this is the addiction card here. Very codependent, uh, obsessed with one another. But the golden mirror here is almost like I'm getting that rose-colored glasses energy from that golden mirror. Again, something like you were completely like you were you put this person could have love bombed you, which is why you completely just fell for this person head over heels you fell for them but this could have ended up in a very like uh, this became a very toxic connection because the devil does talk about a very toxic connection here you were addicted to each other in, in an unhealthy way but they don't see you as someone who's addicted to them a, a, who is addicted to them anymore you are not addicted to them although this person is still is because we have the devil in this person's energy star could be dealing with a capricorn aquarius queen of wands all right
you're relying on each other for the for your happiness almost like that that sort of a thing uh when you were with this person or like you know you were not really taking care of yourself you you were not really loving yourself you weren't really happy with yourself like within yourself you were not like you were not really happy you could have made made really unhealthy choices when it comes to love as well But yeah, this person is still attached to you. They're still attached to you. They are still hooked to you. There's a lot of obsessive energy here. Pos like this person was, like, this is the kind of person who wants to possess someone. That sort of an energy, like, like an object. They want to possess someone. In an unhealthy way, I mean, possessing someone is always unhealthy. But yeah, like, they, they need you. That is the kind of energy this person has. This person really needs you. We don't have much cups card here, or except that page of cups. Do you see that? No uh, cups card here. There's a page of cups. But this is more about being attached to you than having feelings for you. I don't think this person really like, again, uh, there's still, I'm still going to pull out more cards here. But this, this person is like someone who is emotionally blocked. This is someone who is very emotionally blocked. The Four of Pentacles coming out as the first card in this person's energy here. Four of Pentacles can talk about someone whose heart chakra is very, very close. They're, they are very like, they are so um, scared to be vulnerable that they don't know how to love that is the kind of person so this is someone who uh, again love to them means possessing the person possessing like treating that person as an object and possessing the person this very well could be again the way this image i'm seeing here this very well could this person could very well have love bombed you you know because they wanted you to be hooked. This person wanted you to be chained to them. Look at that. The heart is chained here. And then on the devil, we have the, the uh, this couple here chained together. This is someone who wants, wanted you to be obsessed with them uh, like they're obsessed with you. Judgment, Seven of Cups in Reverse. Okay, I don't know what happened to them. Let me suddenly. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely think that this was an immature decision you made. This person, this connection was an immature decision you made. You didn't quite think things through or you didn't see things through. This was just an immature decision you were making here. You were behaving very impulsively. Again, the fool in reverse is a foolish person. It's almost like in hindsight, you think that you, you, you didn't see things. You didn't watch your step. You didn't watch you were going. You were being very, very impulsive. You fell for certain uh, tricks this person actually did here. That, this, that is how you feel about this person. In hindsight, you almost like there's this grow, grown up sort of energy you have, which is making you feel and think about this person. Like uh, you see clearly, 
with the judgment here you see clearly everything uh, what you have like what role you played here you see it very very clearly you see in hindsight you feel like you were being very very foolish it, it was this wishful thinking you were being very impractical here with the Seven of Cups upright talks about confusion. Seven of Cups reverses someone who's not confused at all. You're not confused at all about anything in this connection. You see things clearly here. With the High Priestess and the Judgment here, you see things clearly. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries Aquarius. But yeah, you, you see things clearly. You understand it. Uh, judgment talks about epiphanies and assessment and um, waking up to, to the truth, to the reality. For some of you could have gone through a spiritual awakening as well here because of which you you have a very different vision when it like you see this connection you see this person in a different manner there's definitely a change of energy that has happened here for you and and that that is what this person is picking up on Eight of Pentacles here. For some of you, you have, it's almost like you learned the hard lesson to, um, put your work first, almost, you know, like you, you learn the lesson to work yourself for, for, first, like you have work to do on yourself. You have some goals, you have some things you need to sort out first. There's a very practical, realistic, grounded energy that is coming from you. There's no wishy-washy. There's no up in the air. There's no uh, anymore. There's no no more illusion. You're definitely also trying to forgive this person. You know, just forgive and heal forgiving so that you heal like you're not in fantasy land anymore that's the kind of energy you're not in fantasy land anymore you could have been very much you could have very much fantasized about being with this person or you were when it came to love when it came to relationship romantic connections you could have been in this sort of like a bit of a fa fantasy kind of energy because of which then we have the seven of swords here after the eight of pentacles because of which you sort of could have fallen for people who were just tricking you because you didn't quite understand it you were again in this fantasy land you fell easily for people who just who who were just uh you know like lying to you putting up a face putting up a mask and pretending to be someone they were not this uh you could have fallen for such kind of people because you fantasized uh you had this you were living in this fantasy land when it came to love and relationships you were not practical at all i'm pretty sure people are going to get triggered here but uh this is what i'm getting here so this is what i'm gonna say So whatever confusion you had, it's gone. It's like a crystal clear clarity here that has happened. You could have really fallen for some people who were very, uh, they were very scheming and it doesn't even have to be necessarily this person. Like you could have fallen for multiple people here who are scheming, who are tricking you, who are very deceptive kind of a person. And it doesn't even have to be romantic uh, connections. You could have also like had friends or other people try to fool you because you were very, you were in that immature kind of energy. You, you were, you trusted people easily. You were very, um, like you were very impulsive to trust people. You could have been very impulsive to trust people. You didn't watch your step. You saw the best in people, that, that kind of a thing here. Yeah, look at that king of cups below that fool in reverse is the king of cups you 
have become emotionally much more mature. There's a lot of emotional balance and maturity here. You are not the same person that you used to be. This person is definitely, this is the reason why this person is feeling your energy. You still have a lot of compassion for this person. You still have empathy for this person. Deep down, you still care about this person. But you're not immature at, at all. Even if you care about this person, you are in this energy of, I'm going to care about you from the distance here. You have love for them, but you're not in love with them madly. That kind of an energy here. Whatever love you have, you, you are like, you are almost in this energy of, I'm going to love you from a distance. That's the kind of energy I'm getting from you here. It's almost like you feel like you need to keep a distance from this person right now. Until and unless you heal and sort things out within yourself. For some of you, you feel like you don't want to invest in this connection at all anymore. Like this is it. This is over. This is the end for you. And you are uh, like better off without them. I was checking this person's feelings. I want to, wanted to see more about this person's feelings for you. We have the two of cups in this person's feelings. And we also have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Knight of cups. I was just saying, right? We don't have much cups card in this person's energy here. And the moon here. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But yeah, this is two of cups and four of wands, knight of cups. Uh, these three are very positive cards. This is someone who has a lot of feelings for you. This is someone who has realized they have a lot of, lot of feelings for you. After you changed your energy, after you uh, almost uh, disconnected from them, that's when this person realized that they have feelings for you. So someone whose heart was very, very blocked, their heart did open for you. Or their heart is open for you. And this was sort of rude awakening. Like this was someone who very well could have been, as I said, love to this person meant possessing someone. Everything was a game for this person. Love was definitely a game for this person here. They treated love as a game. They treated people as a sort of game. They... Uh, this this was not someone who was healthy at all here. Very unhealthy attachment this person had. However, this person was, this was someone who was unhealthy. And this person could have treated multiple people in a very uh, horrible way. They could have very well. With the tower here, whatever emotions this person was trying to suppress... Whatever they were trying to suppress with that four of pentacles, like uh, suppressing those feelings, suppressing those emotions, closing their heart, everything just like flew open. You know, it's almost like the lid, uh, like a Pandora's box. It, it just opened. They couldn't keep it anymore. The four of pentacles also talks and talk about the stubbornness and ego and pride and all of those things. And the tower here, that is like universe knocking the pride off. Knocking the stubbornness off. So this person, for the first time, they uh, they f started feeling things. For some of you, this person can, uh, could very well have a deep mother wounding. The Queen of Pentacles here, they could have a deep mother wounding. But yeah, this person feels like you, you and them can have that beautiful home together you and them can together can have it all as i said you and them can have it all here we have the ten of cups here all right come on
Yeah, I also have the Three of Cups here. You could be dealing with um, Aries, Aquarius. You already had the Fool here. Yeah, Ace of Swords, communication. Three of Cups is reunion. Fool is someone who's willing to take that risk. Fool in upright is a good energy. And unlike in reverse, it's not an immature, foolish energy. This is someone who wants to take a risk here. This is someone who wants to take that risk. This is someone who wants that reunion. This is the true intentions here. So they, they really, really want this. They want this reunion. But since the three of wands did come out here, this person is not completely ready for that as well. They're not ready for it. They might want it, but they're not completely ready for it. They're not ready for that communication. They're not ready to come face to face with you and interact with you, with talk with you. Change things about themselves. Come out of their comfort zone. of swords and the hermit could be dealing with gemini or virgo yeah look at that nine of wands we already had the nine of wands here this person is still very very defensive they're very still uh this person is still in that energy of being intimidated by you they're very intimidated by you and they're very scared to open up as well here the two of cups the knight of cups the four of wands this is very new and for this person here this person is not used to feel the fields they're not used to it and this is like the these three together scheme scream someone who's not ready to take any action right now. They want to talk here, but this person with the hermit and the nine of wands, they are not ready to open up. They are not ready to have that conversation. They're not ready to be uh, completely vulnerable and talk to you. They they just don't know how to do it. They're finding it difficult. They are already wounded, and they see you as someone like they have wounded. So there's also that fear and anxiety here of the consequences of their actions or how you are going to reject them. It's a lot going on in this person's head. Well, that's your reading, um, Gemini. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.